This is a custom budget PC by Haste Repair Group. And this is all packed into a deep cool CC560 mid tower ATX PC case that offers four pre installed green LED case fans, three for air intake and one for exhaust. And you can see the front grille of this PC case offers lots of suction for really good airflow. I found the temperatures to be really good. Um, so this is all installed on a MSI A320M-A Pro Max motherboard. And the CPU is an AMD Ryzen 5 1600 6-core 12-thread. And the graphics card is an ASUS ROG Strix GTX 1070 8 gigabyte GDDR5 graphics card with three uh, three fans that activate roughly when the GPU reaches about 60 or 62 degrees. Um, of course, you can change that in settings. Um, so the CPU cooler is a Cooler Master T20, and that is a smaller version of the Hyper 212. Um, Although it is smaller, I do find that it really does a good job, especially for the price, which is quite low. It's a 95mm fan, but in this case, pretty good. So Windows 11 is installed on Kingston 500GB NVMe M.2 solid state drive. And up on the top I.O. we have USB 3.0 and 2.0 and a microphone headphone input and there's a top grill where you can install either radiator for water cooling or more case fans if you choose i find with the default configuration we get really good airflow though of course that's always up for customization and so on the rear io of the motherboard we have older style mouse and keyboard ps2 ports uh, dvi and hdmi four times usb 3.0 USB 2.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, and some audio ports. And on the GTX 1070, we have two HDMI ports, two Display ports, and one DVI. And powering it all is a Corsair V Series VS600 600 watt power supply. Plenty for this system. And this is an example of Doom Eternal. and Apex Legends. Yes, I am terrible at this game. And here's a brand new release called Stray. With B Sync turned off. and V-Sync turned on. And 
Dead by Daylight with the same natively turned on. And here's Skater XL. Rise of the Tomb Raider benchmark. And the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark. the Unigine Heaven benchmark first on high and then on ultra graphic settings. So within reason this is an excellent budget gaming PC in July of 2022. Um, you can keep this on a Canadian budget of less than $750 or $800 uh, depending on the deals you get. A blend of used and new hardware so leave a comment if this is something that you're running